I'm Michelle Martin. Today we're taking a look at Futu, their shares up threefold over the last 12 months. So I really wanted to check in with them. NASDAQ listed Tencent backed Futu SG set up operations in Singapore in March this year. We had them on the show then. We're happy to keep tracking uh, their results with them. They have 15 million users around the world and they offer investment pr products via their trading platform, Mumu. Futu SG's uh, parent company, Futu Holdings, their latest financial data shows an increase of total revenues by about 129% year on year and a more than 140% rise in gross profit. Futu Holdings, I understand, has witnessed six consecutive quarters of triple digit growth. So let's take a closer look at the second quarter results of Futu and have a tour of some of the features on its trading platform, Mumu. Today, I wanted to focus on features that allow for stock research. And he's graciously agreed to give us that tour. Let's welcome Gavin Chia, Managing Director of Futu Singapore. Good morning, Gavin. Yes, uh, morning, Michelle. Welcome to the show. First up, yes. uh, if we look at your profits, uh, what explains the increase of 143% gross profit? Uh, yes, I, I mean, uh, if we overall, I mean, we look at, um, you know, the different sectors that we are actually, um, you know, in terms of the revenue stream, we are seeing a very healthy growth uh, across uh, all revenue uh, streams and sources. Um, if you look at uh, brokerage commissions, um, you know, interest incomes or even other incomes, uh, you know, includes wealth management or enterprise service, uh, we see a uh, huge growth. And especially if you look at interest incomes, uh, it actually represents the largest growth over here. Uh, of course, if you look at, um, you know, just to share a little bit more on uh, why is there a huge increase is, uh, you know, if you look at generally for the whole food tool, we are, we are very focused on uh, in terms of a user experience. So um, in Hong Kong, we are doing more. I mean, uh, we are reinforcing our leading position over in Hong Kong as the number one broker. And of course, uh, in Singapore, um, you know, um, many people will know that we, we had just uh, launched not too long ago on 8th of March. Uh, we, you know, for, I mean, in terms of uh, to have a better service or, you know, we, we have a 24 hours a day, uh, you know, in terms of customer service. Um, you know, and uh, it's seven a day, so it's 24 seven and, uh, you know, clients will be able to contact us if they need any assistance. And uh, of course, to better serve uh, the growing client base, uh, we are also expanding in terms of uh, hiring. And uh, if you look at overall, um, surely with the support of clients, uh, just solely in Singapore, uh, Futu has already um, near to more than 250,000 uh, users. And uh, with more than 100,000 paying customers. Um, so this is something that I got to say, so, you know, we are very proud of, uh, of what we have done. Uh, surely we have done something correctly in Singapore. And, uh, you know, we will, we will focus more in terms of uh, how we can provide a better user experience to customers. Uh, yeah. And, you know, working with more other companies and vendors so that, uh, you know, we can provide, uh, you know, even a better experience to all the customer here. Yeah, I'm glad to hear about that focus on customer experience. We were talking this morning about glitches on um, some of the cryptocurrency exchanges and how people oh, are so yes. frustrated. And when that happens and you only can speak with a bot, it's really annoying. So good to know that. Agree, agree service, Michelle. Right? It's forefront on, on, on what Futu is aiming to do. Have you seen a growth in paying clients? Uh, yes, uh, yes, surely, Michelle. I mean, uh, you know, we see a, a, a very strong growth in uh, Futu's paying cost, uh, clients. Uh, there's an increase of uh, 230% year on year, uh, reaching to a total of uh, 1 million uh, paying clients uh, past this quarter. So um, I, I got to say, uh, this is actually uh, you know, in terms of uh, our second best quarter. Um, the net addition itself uh, is actually approximately 211,000 uh, in terms of paying clients. Uh, the best quarters was actually uh, in, in last quarter, which is an uh, addition of uh, 273,000 paying clients. So overall, um, for Futu um, users, um, we have reached past uh, very near to 16 million, one six million. Uh, that's an increase of uh, near to 67% year on year. So surely, I mean, uh, you know, in terms of Singapore, uh, mm. in terms of paying clients, uh, we actually contributed half and surely we will, you, you know, we will do more, uh, reach out to more clients and work with more, um, you know, firms and, uh, you know, to, 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 to enhance or, you know, to provide a better experience to all customers. All right. Help us understand there's been a dip in trading volumes. 
Um, yes, uh, Michelle, I mean, uh, if you look at um, the recent months, uh, there's, uh, there's huge volatility. I mean, in terms of whether, you know, we see um, news from US, from China, um, you know, politically, or even uh, there's, there's many things that is happening. I mean, of course, uh, if you look at um, for Futu itself, um, you know, in terms of the US stock trading volume, it accounted for approximately 64% of our trading, uh, total trading volume. Um, overall, um, you know, that we, we believe that uh, in terms of certain products like equities, um, you know, some clients may, may, you know, especially the more conservative, conservative one, they may, you know, you, you know, have a wait and see approach. But right mm -hmm. now, what Futu is doing, um, you know, given that Futu, we have a, a multi-products uh, platform, uh, you know, we are also educating customers, uh, you know, to in, in such a volatile period, what, what can they do with using different products uh, so that they, they can do hedging or even, you know, they can, they can minimize the volatility in their portfolio. All right. Gavin Chia is Managing Director, Futu Singapore. Gavin, do you expect headwinds ahead? Uh, yes, uh, Shani and Michelle, um, there will be headwinds. I mean, uh, if, uh, you know, if you look at news, um, you know, the, the Fed, um, you know, in terms of the interest rate, um, yep. things, are, things may be changing by end of this year. It really depends on the pandemic. I mean, uh, a lot of things, if you look at different countries, um, different countries have different policies. And in terms of the recovery from the pandemic, they are actually in different, you know, different cycles or, uh, you know, different stages. So um, surely, I mean, uh, you know, there will be volatility, there will be headwinds. Uh, but of course, uh, for us, uh, in terms of Futu, uh, we will continue to educate clients. We will continue to share with clients, um, you know, how to diversify their portfolio. And, uh, you know, we will come out with more educational resources uh, just to help, uh, you know, investors of uh, all different stages in terms of trading, uh, you know, to, to, to make sure that they are constantly updated uh, to the financial world and also to the macro world outside. All right. Well, thank you for walking us through some of the key highlights of your second quarter uh, financial results, Gavin. I wonder now if we could take a tour with you of Mumu. That's your trading platform. We're always looking out for you know, uh, insights that can help our listeners who are real investors and they want to know how can Mumu help me with my stock research? So I thought sure. maybe if you could show us how food, uh, Mumu helps display insights into stocks, ETFs, maybe we could take a look at what's been the, the stock or ETF that have displayed the most gains or the best performing sure. ones in the last few days or months in the US market. Gavin, what do you think? Yeah, sure, Michelle. Um, we'll be very glad to run through. I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just, uh, you know, I, I've been thinking this few days, uh, if there's a certain part that I feel that is useful, um, mm -hmm. I also will do my very best to actually share more with, uh, with everybody. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's get that screen up so we can have a look. Sure. Okay. And by the way, if you're listening to us on air, we will be putting up a video on YouTube of Gavin Chia from Futu walking us through the app's actual features that you can use if you want to do your stock research before getting into these equities or uh, jumping into the U.S. market. So here we are. Gavin, what are we looking at? Yeah, sure. Um, if you um, look at the screen over here, um, this is where, um, you know, you will be, I mean, this will be the common lock-in that uh, many people will be, uh, when they log in into the apps or when they log into the desktop version, this is a, a common page that everybody will be looking at. Okay. And today, um, you know, I would like to share a little bit more on the different functions. Um, you know, we can, if you look at the tabs up here, I mean, uh, you have watch list, you have markets, you have explores. Uh, markets will bring you to all the different exchanges. And, uh, you know, like what Michelle has shared, uh, you know, uh, some customers would like to look at ETF sectors or even uh, the different counters. Um, you know, it can be for NYSE or, you know, uh, AMX. And this is where, um, let me just uh, do a click on the ETF. You, you know, from here, you will be able to see uh, all the different groupings of ETF. And in terms of, uh, let me click on the Asia ETF, uh, you know, you will be able to see in terms of, um, you know, the different ETF that, um, you know, uh, a customer will be able to see. Uh, yeah, just uh, a few more. So, you know, if you want to base on in terms of the price, in terms of uh, percentage changes, uh, just a click over here, you will be able to see in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of the ranking, 
in terms of uh, or even the largest or the lowest percentage or even the biggest or the largest uh, smallest changes. So, so it's a question um, of getting are, used to the filters. If I wanted to, um, you know, hmm. understand which ETFs were the best performing in the U.S. markets for the last couple of days, how would I do that? Yeah, sure. Um, if you want to look at uh, in terms of uh, the ETF, in terms of uh, the best uh, performing, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, over here. Let me just get it in. Um, you know, in terms of the U.S. ETF. Um, you will be able to see, uh, Michelle, just uh, just uh, generally uh, over here, um, and of course, uh, in terms of uh, you know the difference, uh, it's actually you will be able to see over uh, in this bot over here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now the platform also provides, I understand, IPO calendars for different markets, whether it's the US that you want to invest in or mainland China, and um, can you show us how that works? Yeah, sure, Michelle. Um, if you look at uh, my arrow, I mean, you can tap on the news portion over here. Mm. And, um, you know, this news portion. And uh, if you look into the calendars, um, it's a little bit uh, just... It's a little laggy, but there yes, it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, and uh, of course, you can go by months, weeks, day, and you will see the tab over here. And uh, this is where, um, you know, for a customer itself, uh, they are able oh. to see all the different IPOs. Uh, it can be mm -hmm. for past months or it can mm -hmm. be uh, even the upcoming months. And uh, customers will be able to see them all over here. Fantastic. Now, um, how does the stock compare future wo uh, feature work? It looks like just a couple of clicks and you're in. So I like that. Uh, what about the stock compare feature? How would I do that? Sure. I mean, uh, very good question. So I will just bring everybody back to the codes and uh, okay. under the watch list, uh, this is where you will be able to see the stocks. Uh, maybe I will just choose uh, somewhere in US. Um, you know, this is where most clients are, it's the most common traded uh, yep. counters over here. So mm -hmm. um, just waiting for it to load a little bit. Uh, I will just choose Twitter just by clicking on Twitter. And you will be able to see, um, you know, and if you look at um, just at the right bottom right over here, there's this uh, icon known as more. Mm -hmm. And you can do a stock comparison. Okay, the, the interesting portion over here, I mean, uh, when we do a stock comparison mm -hmm. is that, um, you, you know, uh, when you know we do a comparison, the, the 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 system itself will find something in terms of business model that is very similar to Twitter. So if you look at uh, this is the stock comparison uh, you know table, and if I click on the plus itself, um, you will see that um, you know they were the they were search for Facebook. Um, you know they will look at uh, or even look at uh, Google. Uh, so it will offer of up clever comparisons for you yes um, and from there they were they will just do the comparison and they will just add it so if you look at the valuations um, this is where you will be able to see um, you know in terms of a lot of fundamentals a lot of um, you know informations that we feel that it will help or so even the price trend which um, you know you will be able to see in terms of the price movement how things are moving and how it has been performing for the past one month three months six months one year and three years wow very comprehensive. Now, um, another you. feature that investors love looking out for is, you know, how are other investors doing, right? So you have a, a leaderboard of how your top investors are doing? Uh, yes, uh, Michelle. Uh, if you look at, uh, at, a, at the top portion over here, um, okay. you know, we can look at Explore. And this is where you can look at uh, the different portfolios, um, you know, of, uh, you know, uh, the different customers over here, but uh, just a disclaimer: okay, these are these are actually all paper trading. So um, you know you will be able to see um, customers who have a huge daily return, um, huge uh, monthly returns. And uh, if I click on um, you know maybe say uh, you know someone's uh, portfolio, just uh, maybe under this uh, patient growth, uh, you will be able to see that uh, this one hundred forty seven percent, one four seven point six six percent was contributed by this counter alone. And uh, of course, uh, there are some customers who, who actually built a, a portfolio. Let me see whether I can get, uh, you know, some more, you know. That would be good, that, yeah. Let's yes, have a so, peek at someone's portfolio. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is where uh, someone has uh, invested in AMC and MMAT, uh, Meta okay. Materials. And uh, with these two portfolios, 
um, that's the result we are looking at. And of course, uh, there's monthly returns, then there's daily returns. And uh, of course, these are all paper trading, but um, you know, you can rank them based on the, the largest to the, the lowest returns itself. And do you run paper trading competitions pretty frequently? Uh, we, we ran once and did, uh, right, we do yeah. have a permanent features, uh, a permanent paper trading features inside. And uh, of course, uh, we, we will be starting it and uh, hopefully we can, we can run a few more times uh, in terms oh, of paper trading right. to create more awareness. So investors always want to um, find out how stocks are going to suit their trading strategies. Do yes. you have a filter or a stock screener that can help with that? Yes, uh, Michelle, we, we do have a, you know, a very comprehensive uh, stock screener. I mean, uh, this is where you will be able to see based on the regions, based on the sectors, um, you know, the indicators, the percentage change um, you know, that a customer would like to see or even the turnover volume. Um, you know, in terms of market cap, the float, um, you know, we, 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 we had actually input as many things and uh, customers will be able to customize uh, based on what they like to see and what they hope to see, whether or from technical point of view, or if you look at uh, even from fundamental or even financial point of view, uh, this is where, uh, you know, a customer will be able to see. And from there, they will be able to scan out and save in terms of uh, the counters that they are looking for. I'm curious, you know, one thing that most individual investors always want to know more about is how are institutions investing? Um, do you have a feature that can give us a peek into that? Yes, uh, this will be actually under the star institution. Um, you know, let us have a look. And, um, you know, if you look at, uh, you know, a lot of uh, we have been growing up with, uh, you know, knowing about Warren Buffett. So maybe yeah. I, can, I can share a little bit more about, um, you know, but it's a uh, Warren Buffer on on their side that they are actually currently holding. Wow, yeah, very so, cool. Yeah. So, so just uh. Gavin Chia with us here on Money and Me. I'm Michelle Martin. And what we're doing right now is having an actual walkthrough of Moomoo. Moo, that is their trading platform, Moomoo. Moo, and nothing like someone showing you around the house, so to speak, right? Showing you all the rooms, all the features and all the filters. And um, I'm noticing that it takes one or two clicks really to get us into these features. And I like that because sometimes you can get lost right, on a trading platform, oh. just trying to figure out which features to get into. So here we are at the Star Institutional sort of board, and we're looking at Warren Buffett's. I yes, the Warren Buffett's holding in terms of uh, wow. you know, the, the portfolios that they are having itself, and uh, these are the different counters. And um, you know, we do we do have uh, you know very interesting portfolios. Who like else Thomas do you have? Oh, Thomas okay. Is, Thomas is holding something close to us. Uh, we do have a uh, ETF. I, I think this I is. I was right going to say. Yes, yeah. so um, you know, soft banks. I think in Japan, and uh, we. So I know we, we Kathy. Hmm. I know Kathy Woods has been buying certain stocks up every single day. Would I be able to track that if I clicked on yes, the you art? Are. Yes, you wow. are. Just uh, let me just do a click. So I can see what Kathy Woods has been buying every day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think uh, we are just uh, just a little bit more waiting for you to just get it loaded. That is a lot of information at your fingertips, I have to say. Putu Holdings, uh, MD, joining us live here on Money and Me. Putu Holdings operates as a um, digitized brokerage and a wealth management platform, and they expect Singapore to really be the jumping off board for their growth in the region, I understand. So here we are. Yeah, there we are. Kathy Woods. Yes. And what she's been buying to date, right? Uh, yes, correct. What what she has been buying to date, and uh, in terms of uh, you know what are the different counters, and uh, in terms of the pricing, how is uh, the things, uh, you know, how is in terms of portfolios, how you had been moving, um, yeah, everything is is actually on your fingertips. Not just the strategy of institutions, but how they performed as well. And this is really up-to-date information. Terrific. So you have an AI monitor, I understand, that also helps you capture unusual trading activities across global markets. What does this AI monitor monitor? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, yes, uh, I mean, uh, Michelle, we do, we do have uh, these AI monitors. Um, it's actually just right uh, at the bottom of all the different buttons over here. 
um, you know, if you look at, uh, you know, the AI monitors, um, is every, um, you, you know, the whole idea of uh, what the AI is trying to do is um, it, it will constantly share in terms of the actions uh, of the different markets itself. Um, so if you look at um, right now, if you look at um, Hong Kong itself, uh, you know, in terms of the watch list, uh, you will be able to see what are the momentums, uh, you know, how things are right now moving in the different markets. And, uh, you know, whether is there a, a huge buyout or is there a huge sell off? Um, these are the different things that, um, you know, um, for the AI monitors, um, you know, people will be able to show. I mean, uh, of course, right now what we are looking at is actually the U.S. Uh, we can have a look at, um, you know, the Hong Kong. I mean, uh, this is uh, how things are moving. And, um, you know, this is, uh, yeah. So this, uh, this is where the AI monitors will be able to share in terms of uh, the actions, in terms of how things are right now uh, moving for the different markets itself. Fascinating. Well, nothing like a tour that's hands-on. We appreciate your time, Gavin. Thank you for joining us this morning. Money FM 89.3